Hello to all my friends and family and welcome, welcome to Jim's 5am club. I'm just down here by uh, wharf number three, watching the Narrabeen take off and churn its way all the way across to Manly. So it's a glorious, a glorious autumn day. And what I want to do today is I just want to relay a story, a story a wonderful story that I heard or that I picked out of a book summary that I read just recently and something that I guess we can all learn from and all enjoy and it's an account an ancient account where two philosophers cross paths and uh, have a uh, an engagement a memorable engagement which um, I guess teaches us all some very, very powerful lessons in life. So the two philosophers that I'm talking about are Heraclitus and Aristotle, two ancient Greek philosophers from two entirely different schools of philosophy, um, schools which are basically diametrically opposed. When I was young and I used to hear about Greek philosophy, I always used to think that it was just one school of philosophy and Greek philosophy was just one, one sort of message and one sort of lifestyle that you followed and one sort of set of rules. But being Greek and going, growing up Greek, I quickly realised that um, no two Greeks ever see anything <laughs> the same way. And so, so too uh, in philosophy. There were many, many branches of Greek philosophy where everybody had their own opinion and it was, uh, it was interesting and fun to, uh, to hear the different views and how, the, uh, how they used to spar, verbally spar each other. So on this particular occasion, um, and it probably relates to, you know how we're surrounded by lots of people who seem to think that they know everything, they've got the, the answer, they've got the truth, the 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 the, uh, the woke the woke people amongst the parea who seem to have an answer or think that they've got an answer for everything and uh, this here may help us um, get a little bit light-hearted I'd say and just understand that uh, nothing in life is absolute and regardless of what your views are uh, we all have a lot to learn so on this occasion. Um, the scene is Heraclitus, who was a very, uh, um, um, I guess, relaxed style of individual who uh, was of the opinion that everything was constantly changing and nothing very much was real. And he was at the beach with a little teaspoon and he was digging a hole in the sand. And you can just picture him sitting there with a small spoon digging away in the sand and Aristotle the uh, philosopher approaches him and says uh, Heraclitus what are you doing what are you doing there and Heraclitus turned to Aristotle and he says can't you see what I'm doing I'm digging a hole in the sand with this little spoon so that the whole ocean can be captured in this little hole that I'm digging. And Aristotle bursts, bursts out into laughter, as you do when you hear <laughs> a story like that. And he said, how ridiculous, how ridiculous, uh, Heraclitus, to think that you can capture the whole ocean in a little hole that you're digging with a, a tiny, with a tiny teaspoon to which Heraclitus turns and looks at uh, Aristotle and looks him fair in the eye and he says, oh uh, Aristotle, says the great philosopher who thinks that he can capture the universe of truth in the little hole that he has which is called his brain. Uh, so uh, there you go. So what he did was he basically gave Aristotle an opportunity to understand that, you know, you think 
that you are smart enough to be able to capture and understand all of humanity, all of creation, um, how everything works and how everything interacts. How folly, how folly is that, given that you only have slithers of uh, experience and slithers of uh, information and a slither of uh, intelligence which couldn't possibly capture and define and encapsulate the universe it can't capture and define God and all that we talk about as I said is just folly so the uh, the moral to the story is don't waste too much of your time thinking about how you're going to change the world how you're going to so solve climate change how you're going to do this and how you're going to do that because there are so many unknowns there are so many things that are beyond our comprehension, things that only God can comprehend and can uh, express. So the, the moral, once again, is just to live life, enjoy life. Don't be too serious. Don't be too full of yourself because the fuller that you are, the sh more stupid you come across. So I think I'll leave it there. So thanks for joining me on this episode of Jim's 5am Club. It's a short one, but it's a beauty. So I hope you enjoy this one, and I look forward to coming to you again. Yasas to all my friends from this beautiful uh, Wednesday here at uh, Sydney, and we'll chat again. Bye for now.